Welcome back, guys. It's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto Update. Well, Cardano has now partnered with Chainlink to provide decentralized Oracle solutions for the Cardano ecosystem. We'll cover that in today's video and go through an update on the price charts for ADA and for Link. It's been quite some time since we have looked at Link and we'll be covering them against their USD pair, the BTC pair and the Ethereum pair as Link is not looking so good at the moment. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit bell and all so you get the updates coming into your YouTube feeds and mobile notifications. Let's dive in. So this is the tweet, Input Output Hong Kong, new blog announced just moments ago, Cardano Summit 2021, uh, Chainlink Labs gives DeFi developers building on Cardano secure access to a wealth of real world data through Chainlink's decentralized Oracle networks. So we have the partnership, Cardano, Chainlink. It's a big one. Cardano to integrate Chainlink Oracles for real-time market data. This is the official blog put out on iohk.io and a message from the co-founder of Chainlink, Sergey Nazarov. We're excited to leverage our extensive experience and expertise by establishing native support for Chainlink on the Cardano blockchain and supporting its next stage of growth into markets like DeFi and beyond. So, of course, this is going to help out the Cardano ecosystem, bringing on all the news feeds, the data feeds for a lot of stuff that is planning to be built out on Cardano in the months ahead as they start to get their, uh, their smart contracts working with the front end so that it works with the user interfaces. That's been the problem at the moment, which is why we don't see too much being built on Cardano just yet. Give it a couple of months. I think we'll get there. The other problem with the space, well, the other unfortunate problem is for Charlie 3, who was the decentralized Oracle solution for Cardano. That's, where, that's what they were building towards. On the back of the Chainlink news, which is an, an Oracle or cryptocurrency in the Oracle space, um, they've obviously partnered with Cardano and now this has dropped Charlie's price. We're down about 23% today. You can see it was just starting to climb back from its lows of about $1.20, $1.24, got to $1.85 and has now dropped back to pretty much where it was uh, at the bottom on the 22nd, just a few days ago. Cardano has also partnered with Dish. Millions of Dish users will have network connectivity with Cardano without the influence of centralized corporations. This is a good thing. So if it becomes successful, it could be uh, it could turn into the default business model for the telecom space. Uh, and Dish has over 19 million customers bringing, in, bringing all that back into the ecosystem or at least connecting that with the decentralized ecosystem of Cardano. The company is also one of the first public companies to accept crypto payments. Now, think about this if you are an ADA holder or a new ADA holder. 65 times returns and life-changing profits, but look at the time period, 16 months. As we get into a bull market, a lot of people are looking for massive, fast, fast returns, usually within days or weeks. Maybe they're willing to wait a month or so. Think about this, 16 months for 65X. Could you do it? What were you doing 16 months ago? Think about that and what it's taken to get there. Plus 16 months ago, we we're in the, the depths of a bear market. This is when no one wanted to buy. So think about that come the next bear market. Stay with the market, set your alerts, keep following a select few people, whether it's myself or you get rid of me altogether, whatever it is, just stay with the market because this is life-changing money. Say you threw in a grand, now you got 65. Say you threw in 10 grand, now you got 650 grand. This is just from ADA and now you're getting the staking rewards at around 5% on this as well. So this is the real, the real point here stay with the markets. It might not happen this time from the $2.30 to get a 65X gain for ADA. That would be $150 ADA. I highly doubt that we'll get $150 ADA in this cycle. If we do, fantastic to all of us and I'll be wrong. Who cares? We're all, we're all rich from that point. But this is a thing that uh, we just got to pay attention to as we get into the next stage of the cycles. And at the same time, if you haven't already, make sure you look, you're staking your ADA to get those returns as the market's increasing because you're still going to get your 5% on the ADA and even if the price goes up, you're going to be getting 5% in ADA. So you're going to keep getting that extra, extra gain as well. Let's look at the price of Cardano. So we have looked at this recently as well as we got the breakout as we were expecting, just as expected. The downtrend came in, 
I have been waiting for the slow down of the downtrend. So this is the accelerated speed. That's the speed of this orange line. And we finally got a real break. We attempted it here, didn't get it. And we we're expecting something to happen very soon, especially after this base has been trying to form on good volume. All the nice boxes are ticked for me at least. And now we're pro possibly, probably, we'll get just a little bit of a slowdown as we continue to form a base. The critical points here are if we get a breakdown of this low, in my opinion, of course, that's why I've got my alert set here, because I saw massive volume on this day. And if I bring it down to a shorter term time frame, like a four hour, this turned the market. So as we continue to climb down into the, the range of this bar, that's gonna set me on alert to say, mm, if we start to break down from that $2.06, maybe we'll see some lower prices into these lows of $1.90 again, but hopefully like it happened here on the 22nd, like it broke the 7th, it was only just for a few hours and then it bounced back above. The other thing I'm following here is the bounce, the speed of the bounce. So I've circled in the low and then ran a line up to the high and then I'm just gonna use this and bring it across to this current low. So if we were running at the exact same speed of that bounce, then we should be at around $2.73, but we're not there. So this also tells me that maybe the market isn't ready to take off yet. And we might be experiencing something like we saw through June and July, where it just slows down until we get to an absolute crawl before we start our move again. So I just have to have patience if that is what's happening. And especially after that bounce, we haven't, just, we haven't seen that yet. It's leading me to think that way. So I set my alerts and just be patient. I don't think there's too much to stress about at the moment. A to BTC is also looking like it's in a pretty good place. It's above the major 50% level and uh, it's still above its trend line here. And you can see we've bounced off the trend a few times. We've got a little bounce in here, another bounce here and another bounce here, which we've all connected it to. So even if it took another few weeks and came to the line a little way under, we're still holding the uptrend. It's just going to take some patience. A to ETH, similar sort of trajectory. We've seen the low and then another low onto our trend line and then another bounce fell underneath but came above it. So again, we get a few more weeks, bounce under, come above, or even if we just touch it and continue on, I think there is still some time across A to BTC, A to ETH, A to in general. That's just what this is all telling me. It's just saying we need more time, but we're in the stronger section of ADA, unlike LINK. So LINK had the partnership and I'll just post it on uh, uh, Twitter over here. So check out Twitter as well. Links to this down below. LINK seems to be the talk of the town. I hear that often. It's not just one or two channels. There's multiple channels who I think are copying just one who is a fairly good channel. And a lot of people just continue to copy that and just say, you know, LINK is undervalued. LINK is undervalued. And everyone's sort of repeating this thing. And I'm just typing here, let's have a look at the charts and just see what's actually going on. LINK seems to be the talk of the town after partnering with Cardano, but all the charts uh, chart shows is weakness. Link is setting uh, sitting at major support versus Bitcoin and Ethereum. A break of these lows is dangerous for holders. More coming in today's video. So that, that's this is the video. This is the video here. So let's look at Link. This is not a complete bearish FUD video. I'm just going to look at the charts. I hold Link. I think it has potential. I think I could get better prices based on what I'm seeing in the charts. Link is at 11 billion. Could this be a 110 billion company? Probably. Could it be a 1.1 trillion company and get our 100x? Why not? Let's throw it out there. It's cryptocurrency. Anything can hit a trillion dollars eventually, right? That's not financial advice. Let's look at Link BTC first. So the first thing I see here, I have it on log. The trend is this orange line from the low in December of 2017. It has held this range all the way up. The issue here is that we put in a high in August of last year, so over 12 months now, and now we've put in a lower high, which was rejected dead on the 50%. Okay, so that is a very telling sign. And we've seen weakness since that point. That was in May, weakness since May. As we're coming up to about four or five months. Now we've bounced off the trend just recently, and we're trying it again this week. So this is on a macro time frame, weekly chart up here. If we begin to break down from this trend, that would be the first, well, it's not the first time, but we don't want to be under the trend 
for too long and break lows on the way down. The trend was set and I've got this connected to this low just here in September 2019. So it's quite a long macro trend. And so we can see the market was under it after the fact and we haven't been under it since this low or since I've put in this trend line here. So if we start to develop underneath it and just get further away from that trend, we could either go A, sideways for a long while or B, start to trend down. And remember, this is Chainlink versus BTC. And I think that could happen if Bitcoin gets its move on for this current bull market, this Bitcoin bull market, which would mean Chainlink's price might just stay stagnant or its USD price stay stagnant or go up, but it would possibly be continue to go down against Bitcoin value, which would mean Bitcoin would be the better hold in this scenario. Where could I be wrong? Where could I be wrong? I always want to know the point that I would have to change my mind because I don't know exactly what's coming on this, this black side of the chart. No one knows what's coming on this black side. We're just reading what's on this side to give us a better idea of what might come. So this is the first high at around 0 0.00068, 69, 0 0.0007, the 50% at 0 0.0074, and then the major 50% here is at 0 0.0008. 85. So we're not too far from those levels. The first is at 0 0.0007. So that's what I'll keep my eye on and my alerts are set there. Should we begin to break down? Then that's the level 0 0.00046. And then the previous low is at 0 0.00034. So these would give me an early warning side to sign to say maybe Chainlink is going to get weaker against Bitcoin, which would mean Bitcoin's getting stronger or Chainlink's just getting weaker overall if Bitcoin was to stay where it is, but I think Bitcoin's probably going up from this point. And uh, this, this is just not looking like a good crypto to be buying just yet. I've told you, it's something that I do hold. I like the project, it's getting big partnerships. We've seen that today with, with uh, Cardano and it's got a future from what we can see so far, but the, the smart money is telling us now might not be the time. It'll tell us it is the time as we start to break these highs and get through the major 50% levels. Starts to break down, then it's possible that some are selling. The same deal goes for Link ETH. You can see this has not been a good investment to buy Chainlink through this entire bull market since August of 2020. It's been far, far better to be buying Ethereum, to be basically buying anything else in that top 20. But the peak was in August of 2020 and it has been down about 80% since those highs. So if I just take it from the top to where we currently are, about 83%. This is an exact 100% repeat as well. And we're just basing out. There's just been no bounce. You want to see a bounce on these things. Nothing has come so far on Chainlink. Where could I be wrong? We get a break above 0 0.01. That would be a good start. And then comes the 50% levels. So like we just did, we've broken down through that uh, the trend line here. This was the one that I've put in from the lows in June. It's not the best, but it's a start. And you could see that we were just breaking down through that April, May period. And we haven't recovered from that point either. So ETH is still looking reasonably strong at this point. And uh, it, it doesn't look like it's recovering just yet. It's, it's basing out at a previous low, which is a good thing, but we just haven't got the bounce nor the volume coming in. If this was to break down, then I'm looking at this next zone, which is 0 0.004 or 0 0.005, that's the top, and then the bottom 0 0.002, 0 0.002. So as I said before, where could I be wrong? Where could Link get all of the strength back? The first sign is the break of 0 0.01. That's the first beginner sign the first beginner sign early stages all right and then we'll continue to look at it from there but right now that's what i'm seeing link usd from that top in august which we it, which it topped out in against bitcoin it topped out against eth it has barely gone anywhere the good sign is a few days ago it did bounce off that price of twenty dollars sixty and now we're sitting at around twenty four dollars so that's a good early sign you can see there, there's a low and it lines almost spot on with that old all-time high of $20.70. Uh, the, the weakness here is that we are now under the bear market 50%. So this is the, the downtrend from May. And it's underneath the 50%, got rejected there. It got rejected at the major 50%, absolute major one. So that's from the all-time low to the all-time high, which was $27. And now it's just come under its rally 50% as well. 
So that's under that's at twenty five dollars. So for this market to do what it needs to do, I need to see it get above first up twenty six bucks. That's just to get us above here and this previous high. But ideally, are above twenty seven and begin to consolidate above this level to give us some hope that this is going forward in a stronger direction and hopefully going to improve against Bitcoin and Ethereum as well. Otherwise, we're better off buying Bitcoin and ETH at this stage, at this stage. There is definitely time to come to be getting some more link, but that's going to come down to what I see on uh, link BTC and also link ETH. Now, if you want to learn more about trading and investing, check out the Investor Accelerator. Link to this is down below. There are a couple here that have popped up on the 49. So check that out. Links are down below for this. Uh, trading, investing, cryptocurrencies and everything else to do in this space of investing and financial freedom. And lastly, don't forget to stake your ADA with the Investor Accelerator Staking Pool. There's an instructional video in the description down below. That's everything. I'll see you guys on Twitter or Instagram. Again, links to that are down below. Otherwise, I'll catch you at the next video. Question for today, what are you doing about Link in this time of the major partnership? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you buying now or are you waiting? We'd love to hear from you guys. Likes, shares and subscribes. Catch you at the next video. Have a great weekend. Until then, have more fun to get more done.